Morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday morning at 8.30, and this is your pre-opening comment. Asia and Europe, both a little bit higher on our reversal. Okay, I have a question. Um, what's wrong with this picture? Whirlpool misses and lowers guidance and talks about inflation, and the only thing that they had to say was, we're going to increase our buyback. I mean, are you joking? You're doing worse. And the only thing you can think of to do in the face of missed revenues is in, is increase your buyback. Unbelievable. The stock closed 178.87 yesterday, has traded uh, as high as 186 and as low, uh, and the last is 180.55 up to $1.68. Outright stupidity. Uh, Glassworks misses on revenue, beats on earnings. Uh, the stock is much stronger. They gave good guidance. Uh, stock is 38, 37.50, up 308 or 9%. Uh, 3M beat, and the stock is basically unchanged. Sherwin-Williams beat. Um, you know, it's not a surprise that um, uh, home improvement and paint is higher. Uh, stock is 263.10, up 1508 or 6%. Um, Raytheon. A miss in revenue, a uh, miss in earnings, a beat on revenues, uh, 98 down a dollar 61 or 1.62 percent. Uh, UPS beat, and the stock has been up. It's been down, and right now it's 192 up two dollars and 36 cents. Um, we had durable goods. Durable goods were the the main number up. Eight tenths of a percent was about in line uh, versus uh, last month's 1.1 percent. X transportation it was up 1.1 percent, so that improves it. Um, Case Schiller and housing index come at nine. New home sales and consumer confidence come at ten. Um, the futures, which were uh, lower before. Um, Got a little minor pop in the uh, after that uh, economic news. Uh, Dow was down 135 after that. Is now down 170. So a little bit of give back. By the way, uh, on the durable goods, non-defense X aircraft was uh, up 1.2 percent, which is a fairly good number. Uh, anyway, uh, Dow now down 180 after yesterday's rally. Uh, NASDAQ down uh, 75. It was down 48 before those numbers came out. Uh, S&P is down about 19. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it looks like the market's giving up a little bit. Uh, the gold is up only minorly. The chart on the screen, though, is the corn, which were long, and after spending two days bouncing off the last breakout in this consolidation, is edging higher. I still think this one's going much higher. All right, everyone, be careful out there. Uh, I'll be back later.